Hi, I'm Tom McCoy with TPC Wire and Cable. TPC is a broadline supplier of high quality, high performance electrical and electronic cord, cable, connectors, and accessories for the industrial market. Our reputation has been built on reducing customer downtime by providing a longer lasting product. Our customers tell us that the real cost of cord and cable maintenance isn't the cost of the product itself, but the labor and the downtime that's involved whenever there's an unscheduled repair or replacement of failed cable. The demonstration that I'm going to do for you today will illustrate how our cable is able to withstand the four types of abuses that customers tell us cable faces in a plant environment. Those are flexing, impact and abrasion, oils, coolants and chemicals, and extreme temperatures. First, let's talk about flexing. We have a sample of our 350 MCM cable. Notice how flexible this is, despite its large size. Next is a piece of our 4 aught welding cable. Despite the large size and the extra thick durable jacket, notice how flexible this cable is. These again illustrate the flexibility of our product. Next, we're going to take a look at our 14.3 Supertrex UltraGuard. Customers tell us that throughout the plant there are multiple applications for a 14 gauge three conductor cable, so we try to use this for demonstration purposes. Let's walk through the structure of this cable. First, inside the jacket, we have a 100% fabric serve. This provides more tear resistance to the jacket. Next, in addition to the conductors, we have non-wicking rayon fillers. These act as shock absorbers. Moving on to the conductors, we have our own design for the conductor insulation. It's called LiveFlex Oil Resistant Thermoset Insulation with a Polyester Separator. And that's a tongue twister, but really what it means is the cable insulation won't wick up oils or coolants. Moving on to the copper inside the conductor, unlike the bare copper that you normally see, we tin our copper. Tin conductors resist corrosion better, they're easier to solder, and it improves the flex life of the cable. And finally, our stranding is different. We have two and a half times as many strands in this particular cable versus the commodity competitor. Extra stranding results in greater flexibility and reduced conductor fatigue and breakage. Our customers tell us that in a plant, a cable could get hit, it could get run over, could get otherwise impacted. And normally what will happen is the outer jacket of the cable will look okay but the conductors on the inside have failed. I'm going to replicate this by testing this cable with a hammer. Let's see how it performs. So after hitting the cable with the hammer, the jacket does look good. It's a little bit squished down, but as we pull it apart and look at the conductors on the inside, we see that there's no splitting, no tearing, none of the conductors look damaged at all. In fact, if there was broken copper stranding on the inside, and we were to pull on the individual conductors, we would notice stranding coming out, and we don't see that here. So it survived the hammer test extremely well. So far, we've talked about flexibility and impact. Now let's talk about the third factor, which is chemicals. Here I have a jar of kerosene. Kerosene is an oil-based solvent, and it's fairly weak. And if a cable can't hold up to kerosene exposure, it won't stand a chance in most plants that are using chemicals that are four to five times more harsh. Our customers tell us that one of two things will typically happen to a cable when it's exposed to a chemical. It will either bloat or it will become extremely stiff. Here we have an example of a commodity cable that's been in the kerosene for a few months. We see that the jacket is extremely bloated. We see that the paper fillers that they use have wicked up or soaked up the kerosene throughout the cable. We notice too that the conductor insulation has swollen. It almost looks like the copper has retracted. It hasn't, that's just the insulation swelling this cable is no longer usable. To compare, here's an example of our Supertrex cable. It is a little bit stained from being in the kerosene, but as you can see, there's very minimal bloating, very minimal flaring. The jacket is still nice and firm, still a usable cable. Here is an example of a commodity data cable. This cable has been in the kerosene for a couple of months and it has become extremely stiff due to the jacketing material that's been used. It's as stiff as a pencil. In a flexing application, this absolutely would not work. Here is a sample of our replacement for that. Despite being in the kerosene the same amount of time, this is just as flexible as the day it was put in the jar. Finally, let's talk about the fourth and final factor, which is extreme temperature. 
let's see how our Supertrax cable will hold up to a flame. A couple things that you'll notice. First, when I removed the torch from the cable, the flame extinguished itself on the cable. That's because our jacket does not support combustion. Second, although it's extremely hot where I burned it, I can touch right next to the burn and I find that the jacket is room temperature. Our jacket acts to dissipate the heat. It may look as though I've damaged this cable. Let's find out. I'm going to scrape the jacket of this cable and as I do, you'll see the yellow color starting to return. All I've really done is char the very outer surface of this cable. There's no melting or blistering. The real test though is how have the conductors survived on the inside? Let's find out. So as we pull this jacket away and look at the conductors on the inside, we see that there is absolutely no damage to those conductors at all. They are hot to the touch from being in the flame, but they're not melted, blistered, or cracked. We also can look inside the jacket, see that the fabric serve is still completely intact, and in looking at the cross section of the jacket, we can see that I've barely penetrated the jacket even after 20 seconds in a flame. This demonstration shows the variety of abuses the TPC wire and cable products are designed to withstand. For more information or to have a representative contact you, please visit tpcwire.com.